So the government is shut down. What does that mean for aircraft dispatchers? Well, good news is dispatchers are not employed by the US federal government. Bad news, of course, air traffic control is mostly employed by the federal government, except for contract towers. Now, no more good news. Air traffic control with the government shutdown, they will continue to provide essential services. Of course, the other things that will keep going on with the government being shut down is essential services under the FAA's contingency plan. So this information came to me from um, my friends over at the Airline Dispatcher Federation. You should check them out. They're a great organization for dispatchers to join. But flight standard inspections are going to continue. Airworthiness directives, of course, aircraft certification for um, commercial aircraft, hazmat security, accident investigations, all those kinds of things keep going on. But a lot of administrative insight um, and support from the FAA is going to not be happening. Now, some certificate management offices have shut down their, basically most of their functions. But if it is like last time, the principal operations inspectors, the principal maintenance inspectors, the principal airworthiness inspectors from the FAA, they do go to work. But the other parts of the office, like dispatch uh, inspections. Um, I know my dispatch inspector is not going to be available. So there are some offices that may have some money left over from the rest of 2025 to keep operating. But after they run out, they would not do like certification type things, um, such as adding ETOP certification, adding new fleet types to aircraft, doing airman certification type things. So that would mean that like if you're turning 23 and you want to go get your dispatch certificate, that's going to be a problem while the government is shut down because your dispatch inspector is not going to be in the office because he has been suspended or she has been suspended. Now, the other thing is uh, the NTSB, they will keep operating. There's actually 74% of them still there for essential safety functions. So that's a fantastic thing. But keep in mind, so with dispatch, we are charged with operational control. We have to make sure that we don't release flights unless it is safe. And part of what this is going to potentially generate is potential issues with air traffic control with lack of staffing because air traffic control is now working without pay. And some of them may um, end up working with extra stress, possibly calling in sick. And so dispatchers need to continue to be aware of any kind of ATC flow restrictions, traffic management initiatives, things due to lack of staffing with air traffic control. So again, the good news is dispatchers are going to, of course, keep working because we don't work for the government because we are not ATC. But just be aware that the FAA oversight, especially if this goes beyond two weeks, that will very likely end up with operational adjustments. So keep monitoring the situation, keep dispatching flights safely. Have a great day.